Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program on PS4. Uh, I think in the last episode, I had a mission to explore the Mun. And that was just fly by the Mun, gather scientific data and return to Kerbin from the flyby. That should be easy enough to do really. Hopefully I've sorted out the uh, audio problems, which mainly just means me shouting into the microphone a little bit louder. It's very technical on this side of the uh, on this side of the recording. Let's look in uh, research and development and see what we can unlock. Now we've got a few things to choose from, but I'm going to go for the Terrier, which is this engine just here, and that bigger fuel tank. I won't need those radial uh, thud tanks just yet, uh, but we'll see how things go. Uh, let's uh, research that. There we go. Hmm. Now I've got 53 science left. That's enough for one of these. What could... Well, we can't get any of those because they're all locked off. Um, one of those. That's, what, what are these? Oh, they cost 90 way too much for us. So basically we've got the choice of three things. These winglets, oh, and a two-man pod is that, plus a small reaction wheel. Yeah. Yeah, two little green kerbals like peas in a pod. Hmm, that could be useful. What, what, oh, jet things. Don't really need that yet. Struts, now there, Andy, that's something I'm going to unlock when I come back. I think I'll unlock that now, those little winglets. Yeah, 8.6 science left. Let's, uh, let's pop in the VAB, shall we? Now, as you can tell, we've got a couple of new things. We've got this, uh, this P pod, a uh, little Soyuz-like capsule, fits two Kerbals. No SAS, though. So that could be, uh, that could be tricky. We've got his first probe, the Probodobodyne Staputnik. Say that three times fast. Uh, but we're going to go manned. I'm going to try and do every mission manned if I can. Uh, let's choose a different colour for this. So I heard the uh, they fixed the uh, the light uh, just before the update. If you if you chose any other colour but the uh, than the standard one. When you turned the lights on when you was going, that little light there wouldn't show up. Not a big deal, but it was nice to have. Um, yeah, we're going to do science, so let's just... Oh, yeah. I didn't take the monoprop out last time, and we still don't need it, so that just makes things a little bit cheaper, and I suppose we get a bit more bang for his buck. Uh, parachute, definitely. That's in the first stage. Um, utility, no, nope. no aerials needed. Oh, we do need some science, but not yet. Let's, yeah, let's get a heat shield on this. I think I'll, uh, I'll turn this down to 60. That should be enough. Yeah, see how it's nice and orange now? In the last episode, it looked quite blackened from going through the atmosphere. I thought that was a nice little touch. Uh... Little decoupler there, yeah, that's great. Uh, we'll want a couple of science experiments, but these little ones here, we can we can actually bring home with us. There's no sense in uh, keeping them there, leaving them in space. I mean, sorry. Just uh, put those there like that. That's great. That they should be covered by the from the supercharged plasma re-entering the atmosphere. Uh, one of these, yeah. Let's get a uh, science junior. Yeah, <laughs> I, I totally forgotten what they call them. Then put a couple of goo pods on because we'll do one when we're like high above Kerbin and one, I suppose, high above the Mun. And uh, we'll need a fuel tank, so let's pop one of these on. And the Terrier engine, because that's what we mainly use in space. I like that uh, is it Bear variant, is that what it's called? Oh, I suppose that's Bear. That's the Trust variant. Yeah, I kind of like the look of that. It's 
kind of cool streamlined for space uh, on a decoupler again oh uh, also for this episode I have hooked up my just a cheap USB keyboard uh, wireless one but it does help with certain situations not all but for such things as um, when you wanted to put symmetry on you can just tap X and you can get more symmetry or you can tap R to switch to uh, mirror symmetry or you know back to radial tap C and you you know you can toggle your snap on and off I wonder if holding shift and tapping X works as well yeah it does it it uh, decrease that's increase that's decrease when you hold shift and tap X as well and what it's especially useful for is time warp, whether that's physical or, you know, uh, normal time warp, if there's such a thing. But anyway, let's uh, carry on with the build. It's probably quite familiar to people who've watched my um, tutorial on how to do exactly this. But I don't know, I suppose I'm a creature of habit, really. Because I know this works so why not go for it again and I actually I'd like to see how much Delta V it's got because I haven't actually done this and known the Delta V of it as well and I say I've got the keyboard in to make things easy but I found they were just doing that without uh, with, without using the keyboard uh, how's that staging looking it's looking terrible isn't it so uh, we want that to go with that and we want a couple of radial decouplers see look I'll use it now there we go wasn't that easy just had to take my hand off of uh, off the controls there they're not level are they no they're not level at all yeah that's better get a couple more thumpers on this it's almost near enough the same ship as what um, what got us orbital? Wow, something went wrong there, didn't it? Let's uh, see if we can't make this a little bit better. Yeah, they look like they're on properly. Yeah, that's right. Oh, hang on, I wonder if that works. Usually, so one on the keyboard, yeah. So if I press two and then three, four. So two is the move part and I've done something wrong there we go so I'm gonna go pressing left obviously because why wouldn't you press left to go down from this viewing angle that's uh, it's common sense really and uh, I'll get a couple of little nose cones for that as well I just uh, I, I, I would like the uh, bo <laughs> little boosters at the side to be orange but you know, uh, they haven't been um, updated yet. I don't think they ever will be updated, to, you know, so you can turn them orange. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, let's have a look at the thrust to weight. How do we do this again? Uh, show all. So 1.96. That's too high, obviously. So we'll turn that down. Is that 1.44? 1.38? Three, four. I should really use a precision sliders. You know, you've got to practice what you preach, I suppose. You know what? I'm going to call that good enough. 1.34. Yeah, that'll have to do. Uh, let's go away from show all. No, hide all, we want it to say. Oh, I nearly forgot. I uh, want a couple of batteries, I suppose. Uh, so just move those up just a little bit yeah that's about right electrical yeah just there and I can turn one of them off if I need to if I do need to make another pass of Kerbin I can always just turn one of them off for when I need it uh, just go through this list of things again I suppose got no lights yet so if I'm in a dark patch, there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. 
Uh, but we did unlock basic action groups, which is great um, because uh, we don't need breaks. So on the breaks action group, when I press that, I'm going to have it do all my science just to make life easier. So log pressure, log temp, and do a crew report. And I'll do these ones manually. Uh, but for the RCS, uh, I'm going to say collect all. And that, that'll make life a little bit easier. I also want to sort out my staging. Put that in there. Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, actually, can we just change that so it's just white? Yeah, there we go. Gives it uh, a little bit more, you know, a little bit something pretty to look at. Uh, there's Jeb. He got his one star last time. So we're going to go hit these, hit the central stage, and hit this one. And uh, hopefully no one dies. So let's launch this. 17,410 Kerbin dollars? I don't know. Uh, launch. There we go. Turn SAS on. Not a bad looking little rocket. Let's turn on this uh, details of the thrust to weight and everything. Jeb seems fine. Uh, launch, I suppose. Now, I'm going to try and talk over the launch and we'll see what it sounds like when it's all done. Bit of a slow launch really, but it's not as loud as it used to be. I did mess with a couple of the settings, turned a few things down, just to try and make things a little bit more audible for you to hear. I suppose I should really talk up just a little bit, wouldn't hurt, I suppose. Got these R8, ooh, it's a very wobbly ship, can you see that? I mean, it like really wants to wobble. I wonder how high this one. Oh, yeah, they're, they're proper wobbly. We really need to unlock those struts. Or just auto strut, that would be nice. I'm actually going to lock to prograde now I can. And hopefully, gravity will do most of the work for me. I'm just going to. Oh, pitch down a little bit. Just because I want it more on that 90 marker like we're going quite fast um, and we could really do with losing these side boosters pretty soon yeah. yeah that's a lot better let's turn that thrust away right down a bit oh yeah they exploded all is good everything's fine yeah the ship's all over the place maybe those R8 winglets was a a bad choice. It seems very responsive. I mean, like I'm just tapping it the slightest amount, and it really just wants to go. I'm gonna keep tapping that throttle as well. I haven't actually got that much fuel left. I wonder how the uh, how the launch is going. Let's have a see. Oh, I'm a bit tilted, aren't I? Let's just go off at pro grade. Let's try and it over here a little bit. Let's try and bring it back on over to the 90 marker. I suppose. No harm in trying, eh? Could really do with blasting that apple up though. I'm gonna go a bit full throttle, I think, try and blast through this atmosphere. Let's see. See if we can get out above 70 at least. Yeah. 75 with one second of burn left great definitely going to have to stage here I uh, suppose we can try the science now but we've got them all we'll just tap square then yeah we've already got them all uh, let's turn one of these batteries off in case we ever just need that extra little bit we've got 37 meters a second in this hmm Obviously, I'll, but we have got, you know, 2,173 in the next stage, so it balances out, I suppose. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark, but I seem to have launched at an inopportune time. Uh, 
It's still quite far from his Perry. Uh, from his Apo, should I say. I'm just going to fast forward just a little bit. I'm just using that, uh, that keyboard. It's quite useful, in fact. If I can just do this nice and easy without having to fiddle about with the mouse. There we go. I'm saying burn pro grade now. There we go. Next time I'm going to have to burn just a little bit off pro grade. Just burn like that. A bit of radial out to go along with it. Let's see what happens, eh? I may have underestimated this just a small amount. Let's have a see. What, what's happening? I mean, it's working, but you know, just barely. Uh, I'm confident. Let's say I'm confident. Oh, yeah, I've got to keep it somewhere just between prograde and radial out just a little bit just to stop that apple shooting off into the distance oh, we've got a parry now that's good there we go i mean i overdid it just a bit because that's an apple of 88 but i suppose it's not too bad where's the noon in fact oh so we've got to go all the way around again Till we uh, come out on the light side and then we should just about see the moon and then we'll start doing us burn then uh, yeah it's probably pretty dark for you right now YouTube's just got a way of compressing things uh, let me turn on the light see that's the little light I was on about earlier that little one there so I'll turn it off just to save some batteries because we haven't got solar panels or anything yet uh, I suppose I should fast forward just a little bit, if I can. Uh, can I tell it to lock to prograde? Yeah, but it won't do it. Obviously, whilst I'm time warping, I'm just going to try and do this by line of sight as well. Obviously, I want to start burning prograde. want to see the mun on the rise. Well, there's a the sun at least. How are we doing on EC? Ah, uh, oh, not bad. Used five batteries so far, but it's a long way to the mun and back. So it's a good job I, I turned one of those off. Uh, should we just fast forward just a little bit, just till we can see the mun on the rise? Uh, one more maybe. It shouldn't be long. We'll see it soon. I say tentatively. Hoping I haven't misjudged this. Just gonna do that a second and try again. Wait for that moon to shoot. There it is. Burn pro grade. Yeah, it's definitely not as loud now. I don't think. Not anymore. Anyway, actually. Not much Delta V left over. I know it's only like 850 for cutters a month, but still, I won't have much left for anything else. Not having that manoeuvre hold, it, it, you know, the being able to plan manoeuvres, doing everything by uh, by eyesight, it really makes things tricky. Like you've really got to work for your money, haven't you? <laughs> uh, I'm just wait until this intersects the moon's path and then hopefully that should mean that we've got a a encounter just gonna trickle it now and yeah hopefully that means we've got an encounter who knows though so let's just fast forward this till about halfway do a little bit of science then Yeah, I think a hundred times time warp should uh, should suffice for now. Can we even set the moon on this target? No, we can't even set it as a target yet. We're about to go out of uh, signal range with the KSC as well. We're flying in the blind. Better than flying in the curtains, I suppose. Should I 
stop the fast forward now. Yeah, let's stop it now. Everything's uh, things on a bit dark. Let's face the sun, shall we? There we go. That's better. And let's do a little bit of science while we're here. We got atmospheric pressure, nothing, crew report, and temperature scan. And we'll do a goo report as well whilst we're here. That gets us 15. And RCS. Let's do it again just so just so the light goes off. Uh Right, there's the Mun. Hopefully, we're on path for it right about now. Let's have a see. Let's have a see what happens. Maybe I've misjudged it. Who knows? I suppose I could indefinitely stay up here, waiting to see what happens. It looks promising, I suppose. I just don't want to be going too fast. There we go. Yeah, I was. I was going too fast just then. Uh, what's a peri on that say? Wow, it's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, what do we want to do? Well, that's hmm, it's unfortunate. Could we burn normal, I suppose, to bring that end down? Let's have a see. No, definitely not wanting to do that. So let's burn anti-normal thrust with a bit of radial out. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, 211,000, I can live with that, but a little bit more anti-normal. back to an equatorial plane. Well, it's not really equatorial, is it? It's a bit skew width. Let's rock on over, turn over to this side. And no, because that's the same side again. Is it? Anti-normal? Yeah, that's the one I want. There we go. I'm going to call that good enough. There's our old friend the moon. We've got 358 meters a second left. And we can do science high over the moon. That's not bad. But this completes the contract once we return home, obviously. And a crew report and a temp report. And well, whilst I'm high over it, I may as well observe the mystery goo. Get 20. And I'm going to observe the materials bay as well. Because we will want to go a lot closer one day. So we get 50 for that and we can just go collect all the science and now it's all safe, safe packed away. Oh, it looks like we're, gonna, we're about to be eclipsed by Kerbin. Unless we already have been and we just haven't noticed. Uh, shall we fast forward a little bit? Well, we're not gonna sit here waiting, are we? There we go. Oh yeah, just like Michael Collins now, dark side of the moon. Uh, what's the peri on that? I reckon this is really going to shoot me. You know, it's, it's going to want to take me out of the Kerbin system, but we'll have a see. Oh yeah, we're being totally eclipsed now. This is not what you want when you've got some solar panels. But luckily, we haven't even got solar panels. I want a bad little trip to the moon now. Nice to see it. Textures look quite good nowadays as well. I don't know if it's always looked that good. But let's have a see what this wants to say about where we're going now. Because it probably won't be too good. Yeah, there we go. So, so we could just burn retrograde and maybe... That would bring the peri in enough, but I don't want to risk it, honestly. I want to go up here to my apo and then uh, reduce it from there. 
So let's just fast forward a bit and hopefully not swing on by too fast. And hopefully the moon doesn't get back in his way again. That would be unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, face retrograde, keep a close eye on that uh, Perry. Just there. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. Lower this velocity just a little bit. There we go. That's nice. And slow it down. Try and get that to about 35-ish. 34 and a half, that'll have to do. Um, right, I'm going to be very careful with the time warping now. Because when I did this in my tutorial, I happen to show what happens if you don't do it very carefully. And you end up hitting the atmosphere mid-time warp. Which is never fun. I mean, it didn't hurt us, but no, it could have. And we don't want that. We're going very slow at the minute. Just a right of our apple. As we get closer to uh, Kerbin, we'll start speeding up. Obviously, the closer you are to a planet's center of gravity, the faster you go. Right. I'm really dubious about speeding this up now. I want to, but I just know I'm going to end up you know, fling it into the atmosphere. Actually, don't want to be flung off by the moon either. That's a possibility. Oh, auto saving, that's good. Yeah, auto save a lot. You really want to auto save. Auto save is your friend. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's just speed up just a little bit more. Let's see what happens. I'm actually going to do a manoeuvre soon. I think I've still got about 300 metres a second left. And it's great when you can plan manoeuvres to do this. Especially when you've got excess fuel like now. You can do a hell of a lot to reduce your orbital velocity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in just purely stability assist mode and that's radial in, I don't want radial in, I want radial out I'm going to burn radial out with retrograde so we'll start somewhere about in the middle and if, a, if the peri starts getting too high we'll lean more towards retrograde and if it starts getting too low we'll lean more to radial out uh, just got that fuel tab open there actually how much is that? only 200 meters a second a lot less than I thought. But we can kill off some velocity, I suppose. So, uh, so we want to be facing a little bit more retrograde than we are currently. A bit more, in fact. I suppose about there's a sweet point for now. Yeah, and we're going down a little bit, up a little bit. Have a see how it goes. I haven't got enough eyes, honestly. I just want to. Uh, oh, well, that's it. We've run out of fuel now, but we have, you know, decreased that uh, velocity a bit. We did, we did have a uh, apo way out there past the moon. We're probably somewhere about there, and we've reduced it to there. So, you know, all things considered, it's not too bad. And we've still got so much battery left. It's probably all the time warping that's done it. I don't like that, how it just looks like it's, you know, levitating off the tank there. Uh, let's fast forward this a little bit. I'm going to go too far again, I just know it. See, that's too fast. You shouldn't go that fast. I've really got to upgrade that tracking station when I get the chance. Oh, that's what I didn't do. Oh, nearly forgot I can do EVAs now. There we go. Jed can get an EVA report. EVA report. That's 12. Right there. Uh, I know. Let's inspect the ship. Uh, so let go. SAS is on. RCS on. Turn Jed's light on. 
let's go inspect the ship make sure no no little gremlins have climbed aboard yeah everything seems fine Jed can get in there go on board it turn SAS back on uh, should we face let's say normal let's face normal because I'm going to decouple it'll all come off uh, out of my direction you know so when I'm falling to the ground when I hit the atmosphere I don't want that you know hitting me back in the face uh, I suppose we can zoom in a little bit let's turn off these ground stations just cluttering things up be nice to focus on Kerbin. Will Tab do that? No, Tab won't do that. But you can tell how fast it goes. Oh, that's what I didn't do. I didn't actually pack that EVA report away. Uh, oh, this is actually the most infuriating thing because I just want to get closer, but I don't want to burn up as I do it. I mean, you can possibly understand that. Nobody, oh, we just got connection again. Nobody wants to burn up as they're, you know, coming near curving. That's it. Oh, it looks like we'll be landing on the light side, so that's a bonus for you. I mean, I couldn't really predict where we'd be landing. Uh, oh, so we're, you know, 880,000. Let's just whittle that down just a little bit. See if we can get one, you know, like above somewhere. Do an EVA report. Get one above somewhere. And slow that down just a little bit. Wow, Kerbin looks great. I mean, not, not, um, not too good in the darkness, but, you know, in the light it looks really good. Uh, what will this EVA report say if I do one now then? No, I didn't want to click on a command pod. EVA report. Uh, oh, above the grasslands. Gets eight science anyway. That's, oh, I want to grab that. I'm bored. Didn't want to let go then. Uh, SAS on. And just a tiny little time warp just so it's out of the way. Let's have a see what happens. And stop that time warp now. Uh, come on camera, there we go. And uh, we'll set it <laughs> And point retrograde. Looks like we're gonna uh, land in the ocean, I hope. No. No, I'm not going to land in the ocean. I don't think, anyway. I think we're going to land here somewhere. We're coming in a lot faster than we have done in the past. See that ablator burning off just a little bit. Wow. Oh, I could have really keep an eye on that. That was the engine to survive. There it is, there's the engine. Yeah, the engine survived. I don't know if that'll, you know, carry on all you know, or what. Let's uh, look at Jeff's perspective. Hey, there's Kevin. That really would be frightening. Uh, let's speed this up. Land somewhere sensible, not on top of a on top of a mountain or something. That blade is whittling down nicely, though. Look, I wonder if it'll get to zero before we uh, before we, you know, blow up. Mm, this could turn out to be quite interesting for you. No, oh, really? Is sixty going to be just enough? Yeah, see, I, I totally planned that. Totally, that was it. It was just, you know, I, I knew that was going to be fine. Uh, let's go. 
distance above the ground. That is such a great feature as well. I haven't really had a chance to use it in this playthrough, but oh my god, that is so useful. Being able to know how high above the ground you are, not just sea level. Uh, open that chute because we're going quite fast. Come on. That would be nice if we stopped sometime today. Yep. Yeah, see, everything's great. Uh, I want to do some here. Flying at Kerbin. Crew report, grasslands. Get those in as well whilst I'm here. You know, I've got time for an EVA report, do you wonder? Let's have a see. Oh, I mean, I would have. EVA report, there we go. <laughs> and board. I say, I would have had time. But it really doesn't want to click on Jeb. Yeah, now if you look at that, that heat shield's, you know, gone totally black. It's a real nice feature, that is. So a couple more. So it's so nice having those command groups just to be able to do your science. Uh, EVA. Come on, Jeb. Let's see what you can do. Oh, just an EVA report. There we go. Uh board I suppose. No point in planting a flag here. This has already been claimed. Uh wonder how much science we've got. Let's have a look, eh? Uh we'll recover the vessel. Definitely not a bad little trip. 237.5 science and I'd say that's well worth it. Uh did Jeb get any better? 2 XP. Not the world, but you know, could be worse. A uh, little bit dark now. I'm going to press triangle and warp to next morning. I don't like it when it's too dark. You can't see it. I can't see it. You know, who are we doing it for? We've got a lot of money though. 687,000. I'm definitely upgrading somewhere. Where can I upgrade? What's this? What do I get? Patch Conics Visible. That could be nice. What does that get? No, that's the space plane hanger. That, uh, Kerbals can perform EVAs and place flags. Well, they can do that anyway. What's this? Research. I mean, it'd be nice to unlock that, but oh, so mission control would be tracking station upgrade required for flight planning. I suppose we'll go for that one and we'll upgrade the tracking center as well. I think. That means now we can, uh, you know, do some manoeuvres and such. Uh, plan, plan some manoeuvres. For yeah, we won't have enough to. I want to land somewhere. Let, let's un unlock some things first, though. Where, uh, where is it? Um, no, there it is. Research. Uh, okay, what can we unlock? Well, struts, definitely. That's something we really need, struts. We don't really need that. We've got 244 science left. Now that gets us bigger engines, smaller engines, fuel pumps, bigger fuel tanks. That's definitely what we need. Now bigger radial decouplers, bigger, uh, is that fairings? Or something, yeah, fairings and such. Uh, more aeroplane stuff, bigger things again, you know, legs and the like. Uh, Lander can, RCS, oh, Gemini capsule, and a three man capsule, so I use one. Um, I don't know, Sh yeah, I'm gonna go for this just for your benefit, really, because I want to get the lights, these illuminators and such, and the solar panels. Uh, allied really it's not just for you now I want the solar panels you can have the lights I'll have the solar panels uh, so yeah let's get that we've got 64 science left not enough to get any one more thing so that's what we'll do uh, we'll see if there's any missions oh, for us uh, rescue Ooh, that's not bad we could, we could 
We could do that, do a rescue mission. We could do two, oh no, actually we can't because we, we we've only got one two-man capsule, haven't we? I don't know, we could make, we could make one, I suppose. But we ain't got RTS. Do we need RTS? Uh, rescue, rescue, explore, mon. Orbit them on, go on an orbital spacewalk. So take oh. that. Uh, science data from space around them on. So we'll take that. We can have seven contracts now. Uh, a lot of rescue missions. Plant flag on them on. So oh. take that. I mean, for when we do a landing. We've got a lot of rescue missions. Uh, Let's have a see, orbit curve and orbit curve. Which one pays the most then? Are they all the same, really? A lot of them pay the same. Um, let's have a see, we could take two rescues. We could rescue this person of no importance. Which one actually gets us the most, I suppose, that one. Recover Gilgud Kermin on Kerbin. Wow, that was hard to say. Um, let me just get these two. There we go. A lot of cash, a lot of cashy money right about now. Okay, I think we'll call it an end for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, maybe leave me a comment, that would be great. See you next time. Bye-bye.